The group 7 elements all have a plus 7 oxidation state, meaning that they have 7 electrons that they can share in a chemical bond. Because of this, many other atoms can be bonded to a single group 7 element. So, what have we got here, manganese? These? Oh, these are just some atoms I've collected. Would you maybe be willing to give up one of your oxygen atoms? No, not the oxygen atoms. I'm double bonded to those. How about the potassium atom? Uh, no. I'm not really willing to give that up either. So, Rhenium, it looks like you've got quite the collection of fluorine atoms. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, I just I just started collecting them, and I, I, I didn't know when to stop. I think the fluorine atoms are going to have to go. <laughs> Technetium, I'm shocked! Nine hydrogen atoms? How can you bond like this? I just... I just really love my hydrogen atoms. Hydrogen is my favorite chemical. It's worse than we thought. Technetium has a chemical dependency. There is one other group 7 element, but it is unstable, and I don't want to take the time to talk about it, because it's borium. <laughs> <laughs>